Welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. My name is Mike Brown, and today we're going to talk about bleeding control in areas where we cannot use a tourniquet. So what that simply means is there's a patient that's been wounded and is bleeding from somewhere that a tourniquet's not going to allow us to treat that effectively. These areas that I'm referring to are what are called junctional areas. A nice way to remember this is that's where something joins your pelvis. So I'm talking about uh, your legs, also where something joins your thorax, or your arms, or your neck. So these are areas where we cannot place a tourniquet, but we still need to be able to control that bleeding. So what we're going to utilize is a technique called wound packing. And this is nothing different than just direct pressure. We're taking our two fingers, as Mark is going to start doing now, and placing direct pressure on that wound. Now, we need to back up that, pre that pressure mechanically that we're applying with our fingers, and we're going to do that by packing gauze into the wound. This gauze fills that wound cavity. As you see Mark packing that into the cavity, it fills it up so that it backs up that pressure that he had there with his finger, keeping that pressure on the vessel that was bleeding to try and keep this person from bleeding any further because what we want to do is diminish that blood loss all that we can. He's built a tent of packing over top of that and then placed direct pressure on it. What he's doing now is he's following that up with a pressure dressing so that we can ensure that we're keeping direct pressure at the site of the wound to stop that bleeding. Once this pressure dressing is applied, he's going to keep firm downward pressure on that wound for at least three to five minutes so that we ensure that that bleeding can stop and those clots can begin to form. So today we talked about bleeding control in areas where we cannot place a tourniquet. As we said previously, these are junctional areas that we're dealing with. So this is where something joins our pelvis or our thorax, so where our legs join uh, the pelvis or where our arms or neck uh, join the thorax. These are areas where we cannot apply tourniquets, so we need to utilize wound packing. We firmly packed gauze into the wound to back up the mechanical pressure that we applied with our fingers. We held direct pressure outside of that wound for three to five minutes and backed it up with a pressure dressing over top of it. I'm Mike Brown. This is Mark Latwinko. Thank you for watching Fire Engineering Training Minutes.